A lot is happening right now in the Spider-Man world and also with Venom, The Last Dance. Tom Holland did a recent interview where he talked a little bit about Spider-Man 4. Venom, The Last Dance was now shown to some people, so some people have seen the ending and they are talking about it. Now, we're not going to go over any spoilers in this video, but we'll vaguely go over how it ends, not go over the plot, but how it ends in a way that sets up the next film for Null, Venom, and of course Spider-Man, because right now all the reports state Null and Venom go over to the MCU for Spider-Man 4. And it looks like we're going to get a confirmation about this relatively soon, as some insiders are hinting that they have heard we're going to be getting a pretty big announcement from Sony pretty soon, and this announcement is most likely going to be the title reveal for Spider-Man 4. So let's dive into it, and if you want to stay up to date with Spider-Man, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So we have some big events coming up between now and the end of the year, which really isn't that far away. We have Disney's D23 event in Brazil, and then we have CCXP. Disney's D23 is going to be November 8th through the 10th, and then we have CCXP in Brazil, which is going to be December 5th through December 8th, and this is the one to watch. Some insiders have stated that they have heard Disney's D23 event isn't really going to show many new things in terms of the MCU. Of course, they could always get more information or find out that Disney is actually going to reveal a little bit more than they originally planned, but right now, it doesn't look like much is happening at D23 in Brazil. It's probably going to be most of the same things that they showed at D23 in in Anaheim. However, CCXP has been known to drop some pretty big bombs in the past, especially when it comes to Spider-Man. And now it seems like some reliable insiders have heard that at D23, Sony is planning on making some sort of a Spider-Man announcement. Now, keep in mind, Sony has a big presence here at CCXP. They typically do. Marvel does as well. But remember, most of the announcements about Spider-Man come from Sony, not Marvel Studios. Yes, Marvel is involved, but Sony typically handles a lot of the announcements for Spider-Man. And they have been prone to making some big announcements about Spider-Man at CCXP or showing some footage. Well, right now, there is no footage to show. However, Tom Tom Holland has recently mentioned that they are really working hard on the script and he's read a lot of it so far and he really loves it. We'll talk about that in just a bit. But of course, with nothing actually filmed yet, and from what we've heard, Tom Holland is going to begin filming Spider-Man 4 in the second quarter of next year after slash at the same time he's filming Avengers Doomsday. So with nothing filmed, the big announcement is most likely going to be the title of the film. Alex Perez on Twitter or X when asked what he thinks will get revealed at D23 and CCXP, he stated, I've already discussed what to expect from D23 Brazil in previous tweets, and apparently there may be more than what I previously disclosed. Now, basically before he pretty much disclosed that they're not really going to show too much, maybe some stuff about Captain America 4, and basically kind of just talk a little bit about the upcoming projects that we know are happening, Cap 4, the Thunderbolts, etc. But basically don't expect a phase six reveal at D23 Brazil. He does say that maybe there's more than what he previously disclosed, so if he does an update or we hear more, I'll definitely update y'all as well. But the next part of that tweet states, as for CCXP, heard a possibility for Cap 4 from Marvel and Sony with something interesting up their sleeves. And he put a spider emoji right after that. But then he stated, need to confirm it though. And basically what that means is he has heard that Sony is going to do something big at CCXP. He heard it from one source, wants to confirm with another source that he most likely has that's close with Sony or even at Sony. But again, this lines up pretty well since Sony has made some big Spider-Man announcements at CCXP in the past. In 2019, for Spider-Man Far From Home, they revealed the very first footage for it ever, which is huge. And again, since there's no footage, the biggest thing that they could probably announce right now is one, the title, but two, if the title is revealed to be something like Spider-Man King in Black, confirming Null, then there is also the possibility that they could announce that Tom Hardy's Venom is indeed going to be in the next Spider-Man film. That would be absolutely insane. Imagine Tom Holland announces the next Spider-Man film is going to be titled King in Black, and then Tom Hardy walks on stage, and they confirm that we're finally getting Venom 
with Spider-Man and in the MCU, not the Sony Spider-Man verse, which I feel like definitely needs to be clarified. This will be taking place in the MCU. Now, of course, this is not confirmed and this is just a theory of mine, but Alex Perez has an excellent track record and he has apparently heard Sony has something very interesting up their sleeves. And the only thing that we could really get right now with Spider-Man is simply that title reveal and maybe possibly some cast reveals as well. But again, the biggest thing for that would be Tom Hardy. And this would be after everybody has already seen the ending and the post credits for Venom The Last Dance that might set up Tom Hardy going to the MCU. Like I said, no spoilers about the ending of Venom, but we'll talk about how it's kind of left off. And again, people have seen it at this point in time, so people have talked. But on Twitter, Alex Perez was asked this. Does the ending of Venom 3 make it clear that this story will be continued in Spider-Man 4? And Alex Perez responded with this. Imagine Infinity War ended like this in theaters in 2018. And he posted a gif of Thanos at the end of Avengers Infinity War. After he snapped, after Thanos was successful, and after the Avengers lost. And then he continued to say, and then Kevin Feige came out and said, all right, folks, that's a wrap on Marvel Studios. This is our final movie. Take that as you will. Now, I've kind of been speculating that if Venom and Null are crossing over into the MCU for Spider-Man 4, then Sony might kind of be done with their universe. And this kind of does back up my theory. But here's the thing, the director and co-writer of Venom 3 has already confirmed that Null is going to continue on. This is just simply the introduction of Null. He won't have that big of a role to play in this movie, as in he won't really be on screen that often. And it sounds like him and Venom aren't even really going to fight, but more movies are coming with Null. But if the ending of Venom The Last Dance is kind of setting it up to where the Sony Spider-Verse is done, but the story of Null will continue, that's pretty much a confirmation that they are indeed going to the MCU. Now, the screenings that they've shown so far, I don't believe people have seen the post credit scenes yet. We have not heard anything about them. So one of the post credits could definitely set up Venom in the next Spider-Man movie in the MCU. They basically have already done this post credit scene. It might kind of be similar to what we have seen before. Venom going over to the MCU, except this time he should not return to the Spider-Verse. They shouldn't be undoing this in another post credit scene. And since Tom Hardy is done with the Venom movies, the solo Venom movies, we know he's not going back to the Sony Spider-Verse. So he's done with the Venom movies in the Sony Spider-Verse, but he's making his way over to the MCU for Spider-Man 4. And I want to say Secret Wars as well. It just makes sense to have him in that movie. But all of this does point to a pretty big announcement at CCXP if all things go according to Sony's plans. At the end of Venom The Last Dance, it seems like we'll get a pretty good indicator on whether or not Venom is going to appear in the MCU or not. If it's pretty clear that he is going to, then it would make sense to announce one, the title at CCXP, but two, Tom Hardy being in Spider-Man 4. That would be absolutely insane. Those are my predictions right now, but I think no matter what, we get that title release, especially since this is going to be in December and they're going to start filming just a few months later. So out of the big announcements that we could get for Spider-Man, I think that's what we'll be looking at at CCXP, but go ahead, let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on the MCU and possibly the end of the Sony Spider-Verse. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.